This is More in the Morning on News Talk 1010 Toronto. Certain issues, certain candidates on certain days, certain press appearances make a bigger impact. And Anthony Fury, would-be mayor of Toronto, definitely hit a nerve yesterday or hit a button when he held a press conference to denounce the fact that as part of our harm reduction in the city of Toronto, we supply drug addicts with the equipment they will use to consume their drugs. Beyond noodle and needles, that includes crack pipes. Anthony Fury joins us right now. Good morning. Hey, John. I don't so much think I struck a nerve. I'm, I'm at Finch Station right now, so I apologize for any background noise. I'm I'm talking with voters and commuters, and people heard what I said, and they're giving me the thumbs up. So I, I, I think uh, I, I think the people want to talk more about whether or not their taxpayer dollars should be going towards City of Toronto branded crack pipes. And I think the vast majority of folks are saying no. Okay, well, if those people in the field who try to create a harm reduction situation for addicts say that it actually is a good idea, as noxious as it might be to supply crack pipes, isn't it a better practice? I'm not so sure about that, John. I didn't make an announcement yesterday about the fact that needles have been distributed for many years in public health uh, agencies and systems uh, to deal with, for instance, making sure you don't share needles because that uh, furthers communicable diseases. What I announced yesterday, John, was, first of all, the the shocking news that for a while now, taxpayer dollars uh, have been going to creating crack pipes, crystal meth pipes that are being given out to persons. But it's being broadened. The big issue here and what whistleblowers in the system have told me is just in the past few weeks, the entire shelter system throughout Toronto, we're not just talking downtown injection sites, but family shelters, John, where there are full families, kids in Scarborough, in North York, in Etobicoke, are being slyly converted into drug injection sites because these facilities, not just city-run ones, but not-for-profit-run ones, ones that are sponsored by uh, religious social service agencies are being told they must distribute these crack pipes, these crystal meth kits, and people must be allowed to use them in these shelters, including family shelter systems where there are kids. This is a lot further than uh, we've ever talked about going before, and we haven't had a public discussion about this, and it's new. Okay, so it's the expansion that concerns you, because I guess I come back to the question, if it is a better practice, do you object entirely to harm reduction? That's not the conversation here, John. I'm sorry. The conversation is that as mayor, I am going to end taxpayer dollars being used to create crack pipes that are being distributed all throughout the city, not just in injection sites. I don't want to have a semantics conversation about what this term harm reduction means, what it means when you add the word safe in front of something and therefore it's automatically okay. I think the broader concern is letting the folks know what's going on. Because, John, we see these images of what's going on in Seattle, San Francisco, uh, Vancouver, and folks in Toronto are saying, we don't want this city to move one step further in that direction. And as mayor of Toronto, I'm going to put a halt to that. I've said I'm going to phase out the injection sites, take the resources allocated towards them, put them into treatment centers. A compassionate society doesn't keep people on drugs. It helps them get off of drugs. And, John, we know these random attacks that are happening on our streets and on public transit, the vast majority of them relate to the drug crisis. And we got to stop that decline now for the betterment of these folks. This is no way to live their lives and to, to make our families safer on transit and on the streets. Anthony Fury, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Have a great day. Mayoral candidate Anthony Fury, he will not be part of the lineup tonight. It's the usual six suspects who will be a part of the lineup. But as mentioned and as identified by many people this morning, it seems that he more than broke through um, into the top rank of the candidates out there with his press conference yesterday.